right, ahora mismo vamos a, a, a empezar un proyecto, un proyecto que se titula Mi Amigo Imaginario, Mi Amigo Imaginario. ¿Qué significa Mi Amigo Imaginario? My imaginary, my imaginary friend. My friend, or it can be Mi Amiga Imaginaria. Okay? I got way more than Now, one. <laughs> si tienes más, hay que elegir uno, hay que elegir uno, you have to select one of them. We have been working with what tense? Imperfect. Imperfecto. And all of this writing project, all, by, all of your eyeballs are up here. If you are super distracted because we are in the computer lab, then you might want to stand to the side to make sure you can pay attention. Okay. Um, you're going to be working on this project uh, while you have the substitute tomorrow. You're going to be working on this project while you have the substitute tomorrow. So uh, tomorrow is a work day in class, and I highly expect you to use your time. Okay. Um, so this is a writing project. It'll be worth a lot of... Uh, points and we are going to do a gallery walk with it like we've been doing and you guys will vote on the top projects and then we will also this time we should determine ahead of time how many Colmore coupons first place second place and third place gets okay you guys will also on Monday will be generating a student generated rubric everybody say woo 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 yeah we love ProTeach okay so we're making our student generated ru rubric on Monday for this project so you guys are going to decide how it's going to be graded Okay, but first let me explain to you what we're doing and then that might give you a better idea of how you want to grade it, okay? So, you need to answer uh, some of these questions about your amigo imaginario, okay? Como se llamaba is one of them. Como se llamaba? So how is every single person going to start this sentence? Se, se llamaba? Yeah, me... Amigo, imaginario, imaginario, se llamaba, blah, blah, blah. And that's all you need, okay? Really and truly, those of you who are far in the back, you can grab a piece of paper and come sit on the sides or anywhere closer if you like. Okay, another question. ¿Cuántos años tenía? ¿Cuántos años? Tenia. How many years did they have? Exactly. How old are they? Or how many years did they have? ¿Cuántos años tenia? How are you going to start your answer? Uh, tiene or mi amigo imaginario. Yeah, and okay, what, let's name ours. What are we going to call our imaginary creature? Roberto. Oh. Ro Roberto? Yeah. Okay, mi amigo imaginario se llama Roberto el what? Roberto el... Magnifico. El Magnifico. Roberto the Magnificent. Okay, so ¿cuántos años tenía uh, Roberto? Tenía blank años. Okay? We're trying to make sure and give you guys a writing formula for this project, Caleb. That way... When I grade the writing super strict, you, your grammar will be fantastic, okay? Next thing, we have, uh, ¿de dónde era? ¿De dónde era? From where? From where are they, okay? ¿De dónde era? From where are they? Or from where is he or she? Roberto, how are we going to start our answer? ¿Dónde era? No? Yes. Era, era, de, and guys, be creative with this. The more creative you are, the more fun these are going to be to read. And you'll probably get to read your top five or something to the class when you present it. Okay? That way, uh, so the more interesting your projects are, the more entertaining they're going to be to listen to. Okay? Roberto era de... Madagascar. Madagascar, la luna, East el sol, oh, sun. la sol, or, Mars. or la luna, or el sol. Why do you say Mars? Mars. Mars. El planeta, el planeta. Mars. Mars. Okay. Muy bien. El planeta, or planeta. Plan Oops, thank you. Planeta. Good, good catch. Good catch. Way to sound that out. Um, ¿Qué le gustaba hacer? ¿Qué le gustaba hacer? What are we asking here? ¿Qué le gustaba hacer? 
What do they like to do? What? Not what do they like to do, what did they... Do. Used to like to do. Oh. What did they used... Oops, well, no wonder you said what they like to do. Kate Legu, Stala, I say it. I apologize. What did they used to like to do? How? We have two possible ways, Nick, that we could start this one. It could start two different ways. How could it start? We're going to start for sure. Ah, Rigoberto. Nick, what is it? Le gustaba plus either an infinitive or a singular noun. Or you could say le gustaba plus what? Le gustaban, excuse me, plus a plural noun. Or sustantivo. A Rigoberto le gustaban, blah, blah, blah. Kayla, are we doing okay? Any preguntas? No? Is this? Do you want me to go over how to start your sentences? Yeah. Or just give you the questions? Start, start sentences. Okay. Um, so, ¿qué ropa llevaba siempre? ¿Qué ropa llevaba siempre? So, what did Rigoberto like? A Rigoberto le gustaba, what's he gonna gustar? Le gustaba, Dogs. huh? Le gustaban los perros? Yeah. ¿Qué más? Because they're fishing. Fluffy. Fluffy. Oh, what else? Yeah, ¿qué más? What else? Uh, you have a creature and he likes dogs, that's it. Octopus. Nothing more. Uh, <laughs> okay, yell football. Try to come up with some more interesting answers. Oh, for ours. ¿Qué ropa llevaba siempre? How are we going to start what this? What did he always wear? What did he always used to wear? Used to wear. What did he always used to wear? So, Danessa, what did he always used to wear? Dresses. Siempre. Dresses. Llevaba. Tutu. Un tutu? ¿Y cómo se dice un tutu? I don't know. Say ballet dress. Okay, llevaba un vestido. Oh, it's the ballet. Dress of ballet. Okay. Y las botas. <laughs> that was not an appropriate comment. <laughs> Rosadas. Con calcetines. Rayadas. Okay? Or a ballet dress with pink boots and striped socks. Ballet? Now, ¿qué ropa llevaba nunca? ¿Nunca llevaba los pantalones? Jeans. Ok, nunca llevaba los pantalones. ¿En casa? ¿At home? Ok. Um, ¿A dónde iba? ¿A dónde iba los sábados? Los sábados. ¿A dónde iba los sábados? You are all copying down these questions, right? Because you're not going to get these on another piece of paper. I didn't make copies for everybody. So I don't think lo, Los Sabros. Where, to where did he used to go on Saturdays? To the club. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> to the club. El <laughs> iba al discoteca. <laughs> Con quien? Con? 
his mom. Yes. 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 In El Bosque. El Bosque. Okay. Aaron de Iba todos los días a las tres de la tarde. Aaron de Iba todos los días. A las tres de la tarde. So where would your imaginary friend go every day at three o'clock? Okay. So we could say Roberto. Uh, we could use your new word, Eller. Roberto iba al bosque. He went to the forest. Todos los días. How do you say at three o'clock? A las tres. Or you could start with todos los días a las tres. Uh, Roberto iba al bosque. Should I erase and start at the top? Is it easier to see? Katie? No, it's fine. It's fine? Okay. Um, next one. ¿Qué compraba en la frutería? ¿Qué compraba? What did he not buy? What did he used to buy in la frutería? At the where? Market. Not just the market, the what kind of farm? Fruit, fruit market. The fruit, the fruit store. Okay, what did he buy at the fruit store? Cookies. Not fruit. Okay. <laughs> Clothes. Made out of fruit. <laughs> okay, this is a good one. And if you answer this one, this is a part two question. Para quien? Para quien? Lo compraba. So if you do this one, you have to answer both parts of the question, okay? Because what you're going to do is I'm going to give you a big list of questions, and you can choose a certain number of them for your project. You don't have to answer all of them. You can pick the most interesting ones to you that you can come up with the most fun responses. So, para quien lo compraba? Para quien lo compraba? For whom did he buy them? Lo compraba? Para dot dot dot. Fruit mix. Para whoa. But this <laughs> says <laughs> para quién. Oh, a fruit vest for his uncle. Okay, lo compraba para un. How about if we do un una chaqueta? What's a chaqueta? A jacket. De frutas. Para Sue, for who did you say? Uncle. For Sue to you. Okay. Next one. Comía carne or era vegetariana. See if you can start trying to write that question. Comía carne o era vegetariano. Comía carne. Did he oh, used to eat meat o era Vegetariano. Or was it vegetarian? Or was he a vegetarian? Or was he a vegetarian? Now, Mr. Schmedley, remember, if you give me the bare minimum answer, what kind of grade are you going to get? The bare, bare, bare minimum. minimum grade. Okay, the bare minimum grade. You could say, uh, Rigoberto era vegetariano y solamente uh, comía las flores. And he only ate flowers. <laughs> okay? Um, okay, what's, what's up there? Garrett? Uh. Asistia. Una escuela. Last question. Grande? Pequeña? O mediana? 
Okay, make sure you bring this list tomorrow because you will be working on this project in class tomorrow, okay? Adios!